Hello, this is Larry Stoll from Pace Turf, and today we're going to talk about a type of a trial called a knockout trial. And it's not really a knockout in that regard, but what we're doing is we're removing a treatment or preventing an area from being treated so that it will act as a non treated check. Uh, for example, with the pieces of plywood that you see on this fairway behind me uh, on a bent grass fairway, those areas were not treated with the application that the rest of the area got treated, which was uh, using the metacloprid to test for black turf grass tinnitus grub control. Uh, you can use this type of a blocking out sort of treatment with a piece of plywood, or you can shorten that piece of plywood up so it's a, a two by four foot strip, or you can cut it in four pieces and you can get a two by two foot uh, piece of plywood that you can use in a variety of applications to give an idea of whether your products work. Uh, one of the great applications for these uh, types of knockout trials is that when someone comes up with, uh, to you and has a, a product that's just perfect, uh, it could be wetting agents, it could be biostimulants, it could be microbes, it could be a number of products, uh, what you can do is put a piece of plywood down before you treat, uh, identify where the corners are either using a washer, a half inch uh, fender washer put into the ground, you can find again with a metal detector for the corners or you can paint a small dot on each one of the corners where that uh, board is placed and then you can come back later and evaluate did that, uh, did that uh, wetting agent, fungicide, insecticide, uh, nutritional uh, amendment, uh, microbe or whatever you put down there actually work as far as what you can see visually or if you wanted to take uh, soil cores out of there to take a soil sample, did it do what you're looking for. So that's the idea with a knockout trial is you're going to knock out those treatments so that you have a non-treated check. I recently had the opportunity to work with Troy Mullane on the left from the farms in Rancho Santa Fe and Brian Tepper, regional sales uh, manager for Bayer, and on the right, Chris Olson, a technical representative for Bayer on the Bayer Product Nordica, a bacillus-based uh, nematicide that they're investigating. Well, what we wanted to do was use Troy's equipment to have a completely uh, valid test with the equipment uh, used by the superintendent but to have treatments that were applied only in the fall the fall and the spring and the fall spring and late spring uh, without having to spray small plots uh, so the idea in this trial was to blank out the areas that were to be non-treated at different times of the year so Chris Olson made some custom tarps that were placed down over the turf so that we would only have treatments in the fall fall and spring, fall and late spring, and the non-treated always had to cover whenever the treatments were applied. Let's take a look at how that type of a trial is executed. First off, the plots are identified and marked out with flags, and then the tarps are placed over the treatments that are not going to be treated at this particular application timing. This is Mauro Guerrero, the spray tech at the farms. Uh, working uh, with the spray hawk, uh, making the application of the Nordica in a uh, mix with a spray indicator so you can see where he has applied the product. And then once he's done applying the product, we'll be able to take a look at the non-treated areas or the knockouts where the tarps were located. Once the tarps are removed, you get a good image of where the product uh, was not applied uh, because the tarps prevented it from, uh, from hitting the turf. So this is a great way to demonstrate a knockout trial and how it can be used to evaluate a variety of products.